All right, everybody, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm gonna to be doing a video on the Atomos Ninja 5 and basically the new firmware that came out, version 10.4, which came out uh, less than a week ago, about 18 May. So it definitely has some great features like time code and Atom X sync and all that other good stuff. So we'll go through all that stuff. We'll look at the release notes. I'll show you how to download it and how to install it. It's a very easy process. You know, thumbs up to Atomos for once again supporting their hardware with firmware updates. You know, they could have easily just moved on to bigger and better hardware items, but, you know, they're supporting their legacy items are their older items, which is great. You know, just fantastic job, Atomos. Keep up the good work on that. So let me just... Uh, get out of this, go over to the computer and show you how to download it and install it and all that other good stuff. So uh, stand by and we'll move over. Thanks. All right, everybody. So the first thing we want to do is head over to the Atomos website and the link will be in the description. So don't worry about trying to write this down or remembering it or anything like that. Just check the description for all that kind of good information. The first thing you want to do is go ahead and select your product. Um, I've already selected the Atomos Ninja 5. You can tell by the picture. And we'll scroll down. And here we are with the firmware Atomos 10.4. Just go ahead and hit Download Firmware Update. We'll select, select that. And as you can see, it's downloading in, into a zip file. So we'll go ahead and close that. And the next thing we want to do is look at the release notes. So you can uh, click Download the Release Notes. And all this goes on the Mac OS. It goes to your download folder or wherever you have your default. So let's go ahead and look at the release notes real quick. All right, everybody. Now that we're over on the release notes, you can see that this is the Atomos 10.4. It was released on 18 May, a little less than a week ago. So it's just released very recently. And of course, the big thing for the Atomos here and 10.4 is support for the Atom X sync module and time code, including wireless RF, radio frequency, and Bluetooth, which is very, very cool. The other thing we wanna look at here is it will connect and remote trigger up to 100 ninjas using the Atom, the Atom X sync module, including GoPros, so that's very cool. It'll also synchronize time code with any number of other systems, including RF that I said before, up to 200 meters. So that's just a, this is just a great all around update. You can pair up to six Bluetooth devices, which is very cool, including the UltraSync Blue. If you have the Zoom F6, it natively supports Bluetooth timecode. So that's a very cool feature. Down here, you see what we can jam sync with the Ninja V or five, however you want to say it including UltraSync 1 and any other device with LTC, linear time code, GenLock, word clock. So just another great feature. It, uh, it adds auto calibration now between the HDMI and the analog. This is great. So if you have a video audio sync delay in between like your camera and the Ninja, you can just hit this auto calibrate feature and it'll automatically cal calibrate the number of frames to change the offset too. So you don't have to figure it out or guess. You just select auto calibrate. It'll say, oh, okay, we need to offset this one frame or two frames or whatever. So very, very cool. And another cool thing is you can add continuous power to allow hot swap of batteries. That's another cool feature, which I don't think you could do before this version. So that's another great feature. And it also adds a 17 to nine DCI layer box display. Man, this thing just gets better and better. So that's just a quick look here and I can scroll down. You can see the notes and it just gives you some notes about auto offset calibration and how it, and how it can be stacked with the other Atom X SDI module. So great stuff. So let's go ahead and get out of this and get on back. Thanks. All right, everybody, now that we're over on the computer, the first thing we're going to do is start out with the Ninja 5 or V SSD that I brought over from the Atomos itself. 
Now, I did format it in the Atomos before I brought it over to the computer. That's very important. So please format your drive in your Ninja before you bring it to your computer. And of course, make sure you pull off any files before you do that because they're going to be wiped out. So I'm going to go over to my desktop where I downloaded the release notes and the firmware version file itself. So here are the release notes. If you want to reference those and go over them, if you downloaded them, and we'll go ahead and double click the zip file here to unzip it. And here we have the new firmware file. And all you want to do is drag and drop this into the root directory of the Ninja 5 SSD or Ninja V, whichever you want to call it. So that I just did. And if we go over to the Ninja, there it is. And it's the only file on my SSD. So that's basically it for the computer. Now we can get out of this, get the SSD and go over to the Ninja 5. So if you stand by, we'll go ahead and get out and move on over. Thanks. All right, everybody. Now that we're over on the Atomos Ninja 5, I moved the SSD over from the computer over to the Ninja 5 or Ninja V. And of course, the firmware is in the root directory of the SSD. So all we have to do now is turn it on. And as it powers on, you can see that it's starting the update firmware process right away. This takes a matter of 30 seconds to a minute. It's actually a very fast process. All right, everybody, now that it's done, Let's go ahead and turn it off. By the way, the Ninja 5 or, or Ninja V will go ahead and remove the firmware file from the root directory of the SSD. It's a good idea to format your SSD before you use it again anyways. But let's go ahead and turn it on and check this to make sure we have the right version. All right, we'll come down here to our menu. Go over to Info. And we have 10.4. So we should be good to go. All right, everybody, let me go ahead and get on out of this. Thanks. All right, everybody. So hopefully you enjoyed this little tutorial on how we did the Atomos 10.4 firmware update. You know, it's not hard. You just got to go through it and, you know, maybe once or twice and you'll be like, oh, that's all it's to it. Okay. So it's very easy. The one thing I forgot to mention, you should be on main power or wall power, not like a battery like I was. That was um, something I should have said during that part of the video, but I just wanted to mention that just in case. So if you don't want any problems, please go to wall power, main power. You know, I did it on a battery because I didn't want the cord in the shot, but you, you know, you did see it did work, but I did make sure the battery was fully charged because you don't want the firmware to be interrupted during the update because that could make your Atomos Ninja 5 or V basically inoperable, and you'll have to send it back to Atomos to get it reflashed, basically. So hopefully this helped you and you enjoy these type of tutorials. You know, please let me know down below if you like them. You know, please give me a big double thumbs up if you liked it, or a big double thumbs down if you didn't like it. And leave me a comment why or why you did not like this video. You know, please stay safe out there in these crazy pandemic times. You know, we'll get through this. I just want to say to everybody, thank you for watching and for listening. I greatly appreciate it. Thank you, everybody. Have a great day or night. Happy shooting. Thank you. Bye.